Last weekend, the Socialist International held its World Congress in Colombia. Juicy Vice Presidents Maria Cristina and Jesus were sent as delegates according to the rights that they are granted by the SI statutes. Unfortunately, when they tried to register, they found out that our movement, our organization was not welcome. While Jesus managed to register out of luck, uh, Maria Cristina was forced to register as a guest of her own member organization. Furthermore, they were not allowed to speak and vote on our behalf once inside. The far right and populist movements can only be fought across borders, and the Socialist International of today is light years away from what we need it to be right now. Let's face it, for far too long we have pushed for a reform of our mother organization. We need a global movement that can keep pace with the struggle and challenges of our time. Civil rights, democracy, social equality, care for the environment and global migration amongst others. We tried our best to contribute in the renovation of the Socialist International. But despite our best efforts and constructive criticisms, our voices have been unheard. This is what we would have wanted to bring to the table last weekend. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to do that. We are not here to beg for mercy and favors. We are claiming our rights to participate and to have the voice of an entire generation heard. We will continue to fight so that the internationalist agenda can be empowered and realized further all over the world. To do so, we need democracy within our movements. We need open and widespread discussions. At the end of this month, we will hold our World Council in Argentina and that will be the place where we will discuss our future on the international scene. More than ever, we need the world to come together. More than ever, we need a global movement that can represent the left. And we hope our call for action will be heard.